Hello friends hope my previous video detailing the fuel injector replacement on an ME engines have added up to your knowledge further helping you to accomplish your job smoothly if at all you have missed to watch the video please go to the link attached and familiar yourself with the procedures for same guys it's worth watching in this video i'll elaborate the step by step procedures to overhaul the ME engine fuel pump and the booster unit So do watch the video carefully till the end to avoid any oversight of an important step during your turn. So guys, let's get started. Before any maintenance work is carried out on main engine, do conduct all the safety precautions as stated in the manual. The ME engine fuel oil booster and its top cover needs to be completely overhauled every 32000 running hours. After closing the fuel oil inlet and outlet valves, unscrew the high pressure pipes from the fuel valve and the fuel pump side. Disconnect the electrical sensor connections and remove all the drain pipes connected to the fuel oil booster unit. Using The hydraulic jacks dismantle the four nuts on top of the booster housing. Friends, please do check the dismantling hydraulic pressure in the manual. In our case, it is 1500 bar. Once all four nuts are removed, mount the lifting tool on the pressure booster. Carefully lift the fuel oil pressure booster clear of the hydraulic block and the fuel oil pressure booster studs. Clean the sitting face on the hydraulic block. and discard the two inner and outer o-rings located at the base remove the drain oil bushing and renew the two o-rings located at top and bottom unscrew the two allen screws securing the booster unit to the fuel pump body then mount back the fuel oil pressure booster lifting tool carefully lift up the booster top cover assembly remove the fuel plunger mount the lifting tool on the top of the hydraulic plunger and pull out the plunger clean the booster unit the fuel plunger and the hydraulic plunger with kerosene or diesel oil remove and discard the two sealing rings on the booster unit once clean properly fit the two new sealing rings on top and bottom groove of the booster unit friends it is very important to compress the new sealing rings in order to achieve the perfect sealing so for this using a special compression tool compress the new sealing rings for a time interval of 2 to 3 minutes then remove the compression tool and inspect for proper fitting of the new sealing rings guys there are two sealing rings located inside the fuel pump housing these sealing rings restrict the flow of hydraulic oil to the fuel oil side during each overhaul of the fuel pump these set of sealing rings needs to be renewed After thorough cleaning of the booster housing install these new sealing rings as shown in the video
reconfirm both the ceiling rings are seated properly friends it is very important to check the smooth movement of the hydraulic piston into the hydraulic cylinder for this follow the steps as shown in the video Once confirmed the smooth movement of the hydraulic piston and appropriate seating of the ceiling rings mount back the hydraulic piston Using a special retaining tool fit the fuel plunger with the top cover and lift the top cover along with the fuel plunger apply a thin layer of grease on the two ceiling rings and inside the fuel pump cylinder carefully land the top cover on the fuel alarm pressure booster check that the guide pin in the top cover is entering the hole in the fuel alarm pressure booster housing for correct positioning Remove the lifting tool from the top cover and fit the two allen screws. Unscrew and remove the retaining tool for the fuel plunger and mount back the center plug screw with left hand threads. Guys, there are two orifice plugs. for the return oil located on the top cover do clean these plugs and remount them the plug screws are with left hand threads after proper cleaning and leak testing of the suction valve mount back the valve on the top cover friends i'll be coming up with a separate video on the procedures to overhaul a suction valve so do subscribe my channel to keep yourself updated next mount the two new ceiling rings at the base of the fuel pump also replace the two o rings on the drain oil bushing The fuel pump is now ready to be installed back on the hydraulic cylinder unit. In my next video, I'll be explaining in detail the mounting procedures for a overhauled fuel pump. So do hit the like button and subscribe my channel for gathering more and more technical information on maintenance of ME engines and various machineries on board the vessel. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.